U.S. lawmakers urge Blinken to ban travel to China's Xinjiang. They also asked three U.S. travel agencies to stop offering tours to the region. In the freest nation on earth, two members of the U.S. Congress have sent a letter urging Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to ban American citizens from traveling to China's far western region of Xinjiang so as not to perpetuate and conceal atrocity crimes. I think it's more likely that they don't want you to go there and see that these crimes are indeed not taking place. This anti-China propaganda was created by one man, Adrian Zenz. Let's take a look at this Liberation News article to find out a little about Adrian. These tall tales, while they evoke much emotion through media manipulation and the strategy of humanitarian imperialism, can be traced mostly to one person, the ultra-right-wing Christian fundamentalist Adrian Zenz. Zenz has never been to Xinjiang, but feels it is his God-given mission to save the Muslim Uyghurs from the tyrannical Chinese Communist Party. Zen's dubious studies have no basis in fact or field study. They form the backbone of the forced labor claims made by the New Lines Institute for Strategy and Policy, and from there are repeated by major news outlets as if they were fact. The widely published reports of Zen's, the China Whisper for Western imperialism, are also behind the claims of Jenna censorship and mass incarceration. These studies were not published in peer-reviewed journals where veracity is monitored by academic institutions. They appear in the Journal of Political Risk, a publication headed by former NATO and U.S. national security state operatives.